Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on No Mercy difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, bloody hell, that was a bad voice crack, wasn't it? <laughs> in the previous video, Atreus met up with Kratos, who arrived through the realm door and immediately started grilling Atreus for being gone for two days. But before they could have a proper conversation, we got attacked by a random Valkyrie. After defeating it, we then discovered that it was actually Freya. Now, Freya tried to kill Kratos, but Atreus turned into a bear, went to attack her. Obviously, Kratos stopped Atreus because, you know, even though Freya wants to kill us, we still consider her a friend. But after seeing uh, Atreus turn into a bear, it kind of distracted Freya. And instead of killing us, she's decided that she wants to come back to her home realm of Vanaheim, where we are currently right now. And she wants us to help her to um, destroy the ward that is basically keeping her bound to Midgard. And the only reason that she was able to come to Vanaheim was because she crafted a ward. But if she got here and the ward wouldn't work properly because of Fimble Winter, and she's now uh, been forced to turn into a bird, and she's in a bird at the moment that's not able to do anything, except boss me around and give me orders. <laughs> but in terms of combat, she's not helping me at all at the moment. But we then arrived at a random camp, and Brock got, uh, got trapped by a rope, and uh, when we came in here, we had a chat with a random bloke, and it turns out it's Freya's brother, Freya. <laughs> Freya with an R instead of an I. So, uh, yeah, we've now, uh, you know, made, made, had a little chat. Everyone knows who we are. They're not trying to kill me anymore. And uh, now we're going to be leaving Mimir with um, Freya to chat about some stuff, I guess. And then we're going to be carrying on with Freya to try and uh, find this thing that's binding her to Midgard. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get straight into things. But uh, as I mentioned in every video at the moment, um, I'm, I'm recording this on the 29th of November. I've currently got uh, COVID, so I'm coughing a lot at the moment. The last two videos, I coughed a ton. So uh, apologies if my voice is weird or I cough too much, stuff like that, you know, apologies. But got to get, <coughs> got to get videos done for Christmas and that. So got to keep recording. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That, that is a friendly face. Thank you. His name is Kratos, and no, the Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since. Yeah, uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Well, that's a lie. You always help me out, Mamir. You're the smartest man alive, remember? Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Do you know their numbers? Oh, yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. <coughs> have good intel. Oh, peace and quiet. Oh, there's Freya over there. But yeah, if you didn't see the previous video, basically, uh, it, what's going on with Freya not being a fan of Mimir and stuff? Basically, uh, Freya is Freya's brother, and Mimir was a uh, part of the reason that Freya married Odin to uh, create peace in Vanaheim. And then I guess after uh, Freya went to uh, Asgard to be with Odin, uh, they, the, the Aesir, the, the scum, the gods from Asgard, they attacked this place anyway. So that's why Freya's not a fan of Mimir and stuff and things like that. But yeah, and I'm guessing that's why we have to come back here because this is where the wedding happened. So I'm guessing this is where like the, the bond happened and where he cast his spell to uh, keep us stuck in uh, Midgard. Yeah. Now that the distractions are out of the I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. 
But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. All right, Freya, relax. Fucking hell, mate. No need to bite... No need to peck my head off. <laughs> um... What was I going to say? Uh, yeah. D Deimos is in one of the PSP games made by uh, Ready at Dawn. They also uh, remastered both of them for the PS3, so you can get them on the PS3. It's, uh, it was either Ghost of Sparta or Chains of Olympus, but I think it was Ghost of Sparta. Both of them are very good games. Like They are just as good as the Santa Monica ones. <coughs> I think the only God of War I truly didn't like was God of War Ascension, which was a prequel to all of them. That one was a bit naff. That one was. That one had the. Ah, that one had the same issues as God of War Four for me. Lack of good bosses, lack of enemies, but it was still worse than God of War Four. Ascension was probably a seven out of ten for me. The rest of them are between eight and nines, and God of War Three is the only ten out of ten. Ragnarok can probably be a ten out of ten, but I'd probably give Ragnarok a nine point five. It's nearly a ten, but God of War Three will always be my favourite God of War. Nothing can top the sheer amount of bosses in that game and just the. The fights you get into and the rage of Kratos, it's glorious. God of War 3 is perfection for me. One of the few tens in my repertoire. And if you didn't see the previous video, Vanaheim is filled with a lot of flowers that want to hurt me. Especially like Crash Bandicoot 2 with the chompy flowers. And Crash 1. And Crash 3. <coughs> An ancient. Oh, well it doesn't seem to care that I'm here. Have we seen one of these in the game? I think we've seen one of these yet. They were, these were quite uh, prevalent in... Uh, God of War 4. You can only hit their chest, can't you? Does he want to fight? Oh, oh yeah, he does. Oh, bloody hell. He can only attack his... I think sometimes when you hit their chests... Yeah, I was going to say that. Are these things, I think you can chuck at it. Oh, fucking hell, man. That was a terrible throw. Basically how I throw in real life. Actually, I tell a lie. I've got, I've got pretty good aim in real life. Not to, not to brag. <coughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. How'd you like that? Oh, fuck. Oh, actually, we could probably use this tree as cover. Oh, no! Those things that fall on the floor, they do eventually vanish. Just a, just a word of warning. You insinuating, huh? What are you insinuating? I tried not to fight it. Did you not see how long I stood in front of him? And he attacked me. Oh look, got a chaos flame. Lovely. Look, I don't feel like that was a worthy adversary to get a chaos flame. But you'll fully upgrade your blades of chaos 
and your uh, Leviathan axe um, once you've finished the game and you do some of the additional stuff, the end game stuff. So uh, yeah, you won't have a fully upgraded weapon when you finish the game. It'll be when you truly finish the game. <coughs> Just like the first game, basically, God of War 4. Not the first game. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. He's just trying to help you, Freya. No need to be a stroppy bitch. Hey, get off me, you bad dog. We don't have anyone to help us this time. That was a very slow uh, shield bash. <laughs> I did that a bit too slow. I didn't even stun him. Oh, I could press L1 and triangle now to get this ability. This really increases the uh, damage you do. I keep forgetting about this. I forgot I unlocked it in the previous video when I did some upgrading. I don't know if I've upgraded it. I don't know if I've unlocked it for the uh, uh, chaos um, blades of chaos yet. But basically, you see that little uh, meat. You see that little axe next to my health. That will fill up as you fight, and you press L1 and triangle to power your axe up or your blades of chaos. And it does it does big big fucking damage. It's very very good. And if you combine it with like uh, your relic, if you've got the strength one, it, you'll really hit hard good for boss fights. <coughs> <coughs> Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. No, no, you were being a judgmental bitch when you don't even know Kratos. Just like he doesn't know you, but you also don't know Kratos, so you started mathing off. Oh, how would you know what it's like to use, lose a child? And then he shut you up. You don't never know anyone's story, Wolf Morpheus. Don't judge anybody. Don't judge anyone. You never know the kind of shit that they've been through. Don't assume to know people's story. Ask them. If they, if they want to share, they might not want to share. But ask them. But you don't know people's story, so... Be nice. Oh, shit! <coughs> I like that flower. That flower's not nice at all. That's the first time Kratos has actually spoke about anything really involving Greece. He like, spoke about it a very, very teeny bit in God of War 4, but he hasn't spoke about it all until now in this game. He doesn't really speak about Greece very much, does he, or the Greek mythology? But he's still ashamed of everything he did, so I guess that's why. Oh no, I know what's going to happen now. Oh fuck, we're going to die. Oh, these are uh, Odin's, Odin's troops. <laughs> oh, watch out, what fucking hell, what did you charge at me or something? Oh, 
But if you get hit, it resets that bar. You might just sink. Fucking hell, man. I'm not taking so much damage from it. Square trying to get a Trius to shoot it, but obviously a Trius ain't bloody here, and neither is Brock anymore. So <coughs> as we can use this, uh, hey, what the? No, you can't shoot from a tree, you cheeky fucker. Oh crap. It might be best to just chuck your uh, axe at this guy. Just watch out for the uh, lines of fire he throws at you. And they, apparently they can go through a tree as well, so... I threw that right to a rock. Yeah, because if you get close to him, he just throws fire at him. Oh! That was close, I was just out of range. Oh, there we go. Quick, 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 Kratos, quick, run, boy! That was a bit dirty. I feel like I did that in a very dirty way. Fucking hell. Beautifully done. Well done, Kratos. Even if we did do it a bit dirty. <laughs> we need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. Uh, revenge isn't good either. Like Kratos just said, he seek revenge and he didn't feel anything. I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Now he's, starting, he's starting to get you on his side a little bit, isn't he, Freya? Isn't he? It's, not, it's nice to hear Kratos say he doesn't want to kill something for once. That's, that's a nice change, isn't it? <coughs> the old God of War from Greek, mate. If you had met Greek, uh, Greek, uh, well, he's still Greek, but if you had met uh, Kratos during his Greek days, oh my God, Freya, you would have been killed about 25 times by now. And it probably would have been a sex minigame as well. <laughs> oh, those were flipping hilarious. I love how one of the boss fights in God of War 3 was just to shag Aphrodite. That was beautiful. That got demonetized for me. That's one of my only vid. No, not demonetized. Uh, rated 18. That's one of my only videos on YouTube that's been uh, age restricted. Oh, and also Outlast 1. You know, the scene where the blokes have their cocks out randomly. The two dudes in the prison. That's also been uh, age restricted. And that means somebody literally clicked the video and did it. Because I didn't do it. So somebody literally clicked it and reported it. They look pussies. <coughs> Because YouTube wouldn't have found it, because uh, I don't get no views. Oh. Oh, it's these fucking arse white. I hate these things so much. 
I will die so many times because of these. Every time we're in Vanaheim, you gotta kill these little nymphs. Because otherwise they keep healing everything. Alright, fucking alright, mates. Oh, no one's left here. I just powered up my axe. Look how flipping grey it is. Look how blue and awesome it looks. That's one thing I was going to do when I did my unboxing for the uh, Jotunheim edition. I was going to try and get like a really fancy axe. And I was going to use it for the unboxing. But unfortunately to get an axe that looks like what Kratos has. And at least metal instead of like shitty plastic. It was too expensive. And I already spent £200 on a Jotunheim edition. And that didn't pay off because it didn't get many views. <laughs> I got more views on the controller. But that also had T-Wolf in it. Unfortunately, I messed up on the unboxing, though, of the Jotnar edition, because there was supposed to be a scene of uh, T-Wolf throwing the uh, axe to me, and then I'd catch it, but I forgot to record it like an idiot. My village. <coughs> <coughs> recognize me. I used to play hide-and-seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It's all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this? Okay, uh, this, is, uh, this is what I mentioned in a previous video, where I said I'm going to get a new light runic attack. Uh, and it's, I think it's in this area. But there's a Draugr hole, and I think I remember this Draugr hole being... I think it might be a bit higher level than me, maybe. So it might be a bit rough. I think this is going to be similar to what we just did, where it's a lot of running and throwing the axe. It's good to do that, though, because this uh, Draugr hole... This Draugr hole, um, the, uh, the, the guy you fight that pops out of it, or, or, uh, every single Draugr hole, that same guy that pops out, uh, he, um, he powers himself up now, and he like becomes all fiery, and when you throw your axe at him, it blows him up. But if he hits you when he's fired up, you'll probably die in one hit on this difficult way. Okay, yep. It's up, I think it's in that legendary chest up there. And I think to get up there, I think we have to finish this Draugr hole. Okay, right, well, we'll give it a go. Oh no, the last time I fought this guy ages ago. You want to kill his friends though. If you if you pull this guy far away. Uh, the, set, the third one might not spawn. Oh, beautiful. This is why I stay away from him and just throw my axe at him. <laughs> this one just seems to hit so hard. There's another one that you meet, because you, you meet this guy a few times, like six times or something. But it's, oh. I just want to kill the other guy first. If you keep walking up and down this bridge, uh, yeah, you can. You just keep smacking him, and it makes it harder for him to dodge. Oh, the third one's appeared. That one could die easily. It's a low level. I should have saved this for if I'm nearly dead. <laughs> now, when he does that, throw your axe at him. Because if he hits you when he's powered up like that, you're fucked. 
if he gets any sort of combo on you, you're dead. Flipping music is playing. Very menacing, ain't it? Come on, you fucker. Sorry, I'm being quiet for the minute. I don't want to die again. Be careful when he does it, though, because he does, uh, he does charge at you. When he, uh, fires himself up. Sorry, we're doing this is such a weak way. I apologise. This, this is uh, it, well, it's not it's not cheating. I mean, it's it's you know, I'm using my actual abilities, but uh, you know, it's, it feels just feels so dirty. But he hits you yeah, even when you bloody one hit and you're dead. Don't think it should be this difficult. It's only a, like a little mini boss. Not that quick, are you, you fucker? That was a bad idea. That wasn't I have fought that one before. Really? How very strange. I think I fought it probably. I must have fought it about three, three times now. I think actually. But we need to do it because you get the uh, a piece of like the chaos flame. You get a lot of stuff actually, don't you? Thousand hack silver as well, very nice. There we go, a chaos spark. And with six of them, you get the flame. And over here should be a new, uh, a new light runic attack. I'm not sure if I like it, but it is good. It's good for giving yourself a breather. <coughs> like a, it's like a, um, it's like a Articuno's ice beam attack. Oh no, what's that? That's not what I wanted. Maybe it comes up in a minute then. This might be good though. I think I've been using this. On taking damage, Kratos has a luck chance to gain defense for his next shield strike. Yeah, I think I do remember using that. So where's the, uh, it must be coming up later then. <coughs> Must have got it somewhere else then. Oh great. Oh fuck off. Oh I didn't want to do that. Oh shit, there's an imp, 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 imp. Shit, 
shit, where's the other one? Where the hell did you get it? <coughs> These guys are a flipping nightmare. There we go. Everything's bloody in ruin, uh, Freya. Everything. Literally everything. Oh. Good job Kratos can now read the ruins. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old Lovely. Okay, I guess we're going to be going through that little gap then. Yeah, I'm not sure where that. Uh... I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Oh, it's the uh, it's Odin's men. Oh, look at that! Right in the face. Gotta watch out for the fucking Bifrost. I love that spell so much. Watch out, because there's a lot of ranged ones. Oh, what a throw! Did it kill him? I think it did. Good job, Kratos. <coughs> oh, finally, I managed to power up my axe. Look at the damage we do. Oh, look at that. Look at the hits. Oh, you fuck up. That's bad. Pretty close. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pick up treasure. They look like, uh, they remind me of uh, the Avatar characters. Oh god, oh shit, it's a WWE one. There's gonna be no WWE moves being performed on me this time, mate. Oh, thanks for wasting the last little bit, you idiot. What'd you do that for, Craig? Why'd you start focusing on the wrong enemy? Oh yeah, we don't have the uh, Blades of Chaos one. As you can see, the bar's full, but I can't press L1 and triangle. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> we done? It wasn't enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agonji. We marched till we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. <laughs> she, she ain't got no response to that. She's like, alright, fucking hell. No need to one-up me, Kratos. <coughs> if we do reach the part where we're supposed to destroy the spell that uh, binds Freya to Midgard, if we do reach that like in the next five or so minutes, um, I'm going to have to end the video at a very awkward spot. So basically we'll start the next video with a boss fight instantly. Which I don't want to because I also need to stop recording today. So I'll be, un I'll, I'll be uh, you know, not warmed up. <laughs> so I'll die more. 
So uh, hopefully we don't reach the boss, but I think we are gonna. Oh, hello. I still don't know where I get that light runic attack from. It, it was definitely in Vanaheim. Because I remember upgrading it with a bunch of experience. As soon as I got it. Huh. Maybe it was somewhere else. Or maybe it's after the boss. Oh, I remember these. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Oh shit! I thought I was out of the. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh well, at least I'll come back to life with full health. <laughs> I thought I was in the safety, uh, safe area. God's sake! God, I'm so stupid. <coughs> These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <laughs> Considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. But that still means you can defy prophecy. Still means you can. Which means maybe Atreus can prevent Kratos from dying. Or maybe that's where we get it then. No, that's a new shield. Do we want to switch to that? I don't... Possibly not. Double tap L1 to shield punch and blow enemies backwards, increase in power when fully charged. Yeah, we'll stick with what we've got. I think there is going to be a shield similar to that that we're going to get a bit later in the game that I'll probably start using then. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the Giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. Oh no, though, he is a badass, Kratos. <sighs> you would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. We never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Okay. I think we'll probably get this done. Maybe. Oh, there's going to be a chest somewhere as well. Uh, can I get this done now? I'm sure uh, Freya is going to keep telling me what to do, like they always do in these games. <coughs> yeah. So we need to use this brazier to burn all of this, uh, this crap out of the way. We also need to use it to light all of the brazers. I think there's one here, actually. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do it. What about the crane? Can you turn it somehow? Yes. Oh, 
Okay, I'll try and get this done and we'll end the video. Now I need to get over to this side. Let's cross the bridge now. Oh, there's the uh I was gonna say, where's the flipping thing that lets me swing? <laughs> Shut up, Freya, I know what to do, right? I'm trying to make sure I get health upgrades, because health upgrades mean less chance of me dying, which means increased chance of you not being bound to Midgard for the rest of your life. And that's a long time because you're a god. Where's the other one? Is it over there, wasn't it? There we go. Swing from here. I tell you what, Wolf, that's coughing or the coughing this much is making me feel very sick. I don't know why. Just, I think it's the constant like jolting made me feel very ill. No oh, god. I made three videos today, mostly because uh, this is the first week since Christmas where I've not weightlifted. Well, I did weightlift. I weightlifted on Sunday at the time of recording. This is the 29th of November. Everything I talk about was like a week ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been rough. How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. After the price I paid to end one? Look uh. us. See what happens when you don't fight a tree. I gotta be honest with you, Freya. Your your situation is nothing like Kratos. You literally were forced to marry a bloke, and it couldn't have been that bad because you literally had a kid with him. So it couldn't have been that bad. You hopped on his dick quick enough, didn't you? So uh, you know it couldn't have been all bad. But um, and he gave you Boulder, which was your son that you love so much that you're so angry with me for killing that you want to murder me. So it ain't all bad. We saw the effects of war because we literally destroyed the whole of Greece. It was flooded. There was no sun, it was raining. There was souls spewing out of the river Styx and the underworld. It was hell. Well, at least we've got more health now for the All inevitable right, boss. The All right, I'm gonna to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolvet. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use as the thumbnail. I'll have to take something from uh, the previous video, maybe. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolvet. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Next time there'll be a boss.